In the next two minutes, I'm going to show you some important security and privacy settings related to your Google account. Let's get straight into it. First, just open your browser and make sure you sign in with your Google account. After that, click on the nine dots which are on the top right. It's this button. And then click on the first option which says account. And we have to go to the security page that's on the left over here. So essentially, there are three important settings that you must check. The first one is the security checkup done by Google. It's the first option. So I've already done it. But if you haven't, then you'll find an option to take the security checkup. So just click on that and it'll be a two minute process. So I'll quickly show you that. As you can see, everything is fine in my account, but they've given one tip. If I click on this, here they're suggesting to remove my account from this phone since it hasn't been active for 189 days. So similar to this, they'll give you a lot of tips to improve the security of your account. Now go back. And the next important setting is managing all devices. So just click on this. Then here you can see all of the devices where your account has been signed in in the last 28 days. The device, the location, what time you had last logged in. So over here, if you find something suspicious, like this one over here, that's inactive for 189 days, you can just click on it and then click on sign out. And now the last setting, this one, which is all the third party apps and services. Just click on see all connections. And here you can see all third party apps, which have access to your data. So the first thing I'd do over here is go through all of these websites and remove all the ones which I've stopped using. Once you've done that, you can use the filters over here and you can filter them based on how much access they have. So if you just click on this button here, then I can see the ones which have any account access. So if I click on that, then these are the ones which have access to my account. And if I click on it, I get more details about what access they have. So let's say I don't want Calendly to have access. All I have to do is click on delete all connections that's at the bottom and click on confirm. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to remove spam emails from your inbox, you can check out this video over here. Goodbye.